Question number one, which of the following statements is not true about comets? Is it letter A, comets are mostly frozen gases and cosmic dust? Letter B, comets glow using their own light? Letter C, comets generally have elongated elliptical orbits? Or letter D, comets may go around in any direction? Okay, so again, our question is, which of the following statements is not true about comets? Uh, alin dito ang hindi tama? About sa ating kometa, is it comets are mostly frozen gases and cosmic dust? Letter B, comets glow using their own light. Letter C, comets generally have elongated elliptical orbits. Letter D, comets may go around in any direction. Okay, now before I give you the answer, I'd like you to please note, take note of all of this stuff that we have here because mostly these things are being compared in the left. Okay, so we have three, uh, five terms there, comet, asteroid, meteoroid, meteor, and meteorite. Okay, and I have also given you the meanings of the terms there. So when you say comet, it is a mixture of ice and dust that follow an elliptical orbit. Pag sinabi mo pong orbit, it is the path that an object travels or follows as it travels around the sun. Pag sinabi mo namang elliptical, this means elongated. Okay, so medyo oval po siya, oblong. Now, uh, comets do not have their own light. They are lighted, they are lit when they come very close to the sun, okay? So be because of the heat coming from the sun, that's when they make the glow, okay? Now, asteroid naman, pag sinasabi mong asteroid, these are rocks found in the asteroid belt, which is found between Mars and Jupiter. Meteoroid, these are stones and metals that travels in space. So yung meteoroid mo are actually like asteroid, pero outside sila sa asteroid belt. Okay, so these are asteroids outside the asteroid belt. When you say meteor naman, these are meteoroids that falls toward the Earth. Okay, so yung meteor mo, pag malapit na siya sa Earth, if it comes in contact with the atmosphere of the uh, atmosphere of the Earth, then that's when you call it a meteor. Kaya naman siya uh, umiilaw, kaya naman siya nagbabaga nga because of the heat coming from the atmosphere of the Earth. Ito yung tinatawag natin bulalakaw, okay? That's your meteor. Now, once it reaches the surface of the Earth, pag nahulog na siya sa surface mismo ng Earth, then you'd call it a meteorite, okay? So these are the five different terms that you'd come across in the left. And these five different terms are going to be asked from you. These are going to be compared. All right. Now, going back now to our topic, we were talking about comets. And we said comets are mixtures of ice and dust. They follow an elliptical orbit. They don't have their own light. Okay. They become lit because of the heat coming from the sun. Now, the most famous comet is the Halley's Comet. Lumalabas din po ito sa let. Please take note of this. This is the most famous comet of the 20th century. It's only known for as a short period comet. Comet, and it takes 75 to 75, 79 years for Comet Halley to orbit the sun. Okay, so, but when you say long period comets, kasi they take 200 to 100 millions of years to complete their orbit. But in the case of Halley's Comet, it's a short period comet, and it is the most popular of all the comets of the 20th century. Now, going back to our question, which of the following statements is not true about comets? Again, comets are mostly frozen gases and cosmic dust. Comets glow using their own light. Comets generally have elongated elliptical orbits. Comets may go around in any direction. The correct answer, of course, would be letter B. They don't glow using their own light. They glow because of the heat coming from the sun. Okay, so because of the heat, when they come in contact with the surface of the sun, or when they come near the sun, that's when they become lit. Okay, so for number one, letter B is the correct answer. I hope you got the correct answer for number one.